Uh, when I last uh, left off, we uh, finished painting the KLM. Uh, I wanted to add a couple of new things here, basically new features uh, that will be available when the winglet update is out. Um, one of them will be the paint kit has already been updated. Uh, the one that you will download from the website inside the uh, Photoshop, the PSD files folder, you'll see one labeled winglet. Uh, if you want to open that up, uh, I'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, what you'll have inside here, I left the default level D textures on there to kind of show you what you're looking at. Um, it's layered just like everything else. Uh, you have the material feel, which is the uh, kind of gives it that realistic shape look. Uh, you have the metal edge, which is what it is. Has some shadowing. That's for the uh, the the base of the wing, the uh, jettison tubes, I believe, or uh, I'm sorry, the light uh, white light holders. Then you have the uh, white background, and then uh, and this one we actually left the wire frame on there to aid you in uh, aligning things. Uh, then it has the the livery paint air, uh, layer. Basically, this is where you would paint your textures. This is real simple. All you do is paint your textures on there, get everything done. Uh, then also in the paint kit, look in your target files, and you'll see the file labeled 763 winglet T. Uh, you'll open it up just like before, like we did. You'll flatten this one, uh, copy it, and paste it onto your target textures here. Look at your channels folder. Double check that your alpha's in there, and it should be uh, if you're using the target. And then you're just going to save your target as whatever you want it to be. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, to add that to a to a paint that you're doing within a flat sim, uh, this is the new level D winglet folder. Basically, it'll be done here just like every other tech. It's exactly the same. All you have to do is you got to go in and you got to double check that you have a winglet T texture or uh, bitmap and a winglet L bitmap that's your night lighting day day textures night lighting uh, the winglet L you will never have to edit that just leave it alone just make sure it's in every texture folder of every paint that you have otherwise it'll be transparent when nighttime comes around and you'll be posted in our forum I'm wondering why it's transparent but uh you know, you'll just convert your target over to an extended bitmap. Just like before, everything's the same, just new files. I just wanted to explain to you what they are. Uh, what I will go over here, though, is um, say you want to download an existing paint from the Internet and convert it to a winglet. Uh, what I did, I downloaded a few here. Um, we'll do Delta, since Delta does have winglets. Uh, all you do is you just download your file. You put your LDS file just like you would add a normal repaint in the uh, downloads folder then you're gonna open the uh, repaint manager you can open it here or you can open it uh, from a shortcut whatever just make sure it is the winglet repaint manager go to uh, add repaint select your delta I have Andre's here um, you're gonna install the repaint hit OK yes yeah 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 let it finish here you're going to close it, and uh, you should have Delta in here now. Now, um, your Delta will be a standard paint. All you have to do is you have to add the winglet to it. Now, this is, like I said, this is only for an existing paint that is not a winglet certified download. So it will not have the winglet textures. All you do is go to the base texture folder. You're going to find your winglet L and your winglet T. A winglet T is hidden in here somewhere. Oh, that's right. I took it out of there. Sorry about that. I will just use Hawaiians. Either way, as long as you have the winglet L and winglet T. There's winglet T. Jeez, I don't even have it in here. Ah, winglet T, winglet L. Sorry about that. You're going to copy it. Uh, go over to your new folder that you created and you're just going to paste it in there. 
and uh, as you can see the uh, textures here make that so you can see it is still the uh, default so you'll have to repaint it you know using the paint kit and uh, you know to do that just do it like you you would anything else you know go in here and uh, paint it up into Delta's colors save it and paste it over to your Targa and then uh, convert it inside your new paint folder what you do have to do though is go into your aircraft configuration file here uh, go down uh, level deluxe to add it to the bottom whatever it's at the bottom here what you have to make sure is that um, if it's not if it did not come as a winglet like this one here like say the Hawaiian above it here how it says 763ER winglet dash Hawaiian <clears throat> as you can see this is a standard paint from the uh, before before the winglet update all you have to do is hit a space in here and just add the word winglet there and then also here your UI type 763ER dash winglet you just add it in here as well what that's doing is um, it will you know put it in the correct folder and uh, you won't have double paints and you will have to figure out which delta is the one with the winglet it'll help you out if you have this without the winglet uh, with uh, Flight Simulator 10 uh, you have to make sure that the word winglet is in there and here otherwise you'll get this warning when it's starting up saying you have duplicate entries so uh, yeah just double click double check that sim should be the same your model should be the same yes model textures they're already done so they kept the same folder names to make it easier uh, the model just double check that your model is correct that should always be correct because the wing uh, that's that was added from the manager itself, and you just want to save it, and uh, that's it. Now you have a, a winglet delta, but like I said, your your delta is going to um, your delta will have until you paint the winglets. It's going to have default winglets or whatever winglets you copied them from to put them into that folder. So just remember that. But uh. That's it. That's all you got to do to add a winglet to your uh, your new level D. And I uh, just wanted to show you where it's located at inside the um, the new paint kit. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, just post them on the forum, and uh, we'll be happy to answer. Um, the videos are being uploaded as we speak. I'll show you. See, yay! Videos are being put up. It's taking forever because I have a terrible internet, but it's it's being done. So hopefully that'll be available and online to you soon. And we are testing the final builds for the winglet, so it will be out to you very shortly. And by the time you you're watching this, it'll be out, obviously. So uh, enjoy and um, have fun. Thanks.